been keeping a big secret from you guys and something that I've kind of had building into the works and it finally turned out today that I got to go on Channel 12 News for Arizona Midday in Phoenix, Arizona to talk about the Scottsdale Film Festival. It was a dream. I loved doing it and honestly, I just wanted to share this moment with you guys because without you, I would have never been able to have any opportunity like this. So again, thank you to you. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and thank you to all my friends and family who have supported me over the countless years. Just understanding that I love Love talking movies and I want to talk movies with more people and in all sorts of that stuff and for some reason if this is your first video you're ever watching on my make sure again to hit that like and subscribe button comment down below go follow Arizona Midday over on Twitter Instagram and all sorts of stuff like that I'm gonna be showing the video right here and of course I'll be leaving a link down below to their website where you guys can actually go check out a better version of that video since I just decided to screen capture this one thank you guys again so much for watching this thank you again to anyone who's ever believed in me because without you again I would really not be able to do this Look out for a bunch of other movie reviews coming out this week. I know I have a review coming out for Parasite. That's going to be cool. And I also have a couple other tidbits coming down the road, guys. Big things happening for this channel. I'm planning more personal videos like this as well since it seems like a lot of you guys like it. But again, I got the gig on Arizona Midday, Channel 12 News, and it was flipping awesome. I, I, I love doing it. And uh, thank you to the host. And again, thank you to all the producers who had me on to talk about the Scottsdale Film Festival, which you guys should also check out down below because that film festival looks fun and really doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So that's the best thing. But without further ado, I need to stop ranting. Uh, enjoy the clip, guys. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. And speaking of movies, there's plenty to see at the annual Scottsdale International Film Festival. The 10 day event kicks off soon. And Phoenix film critic Zach Pope is here with the highlights. Thanks so much for hey, coming thank on. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited did, to be here. Did you get your opening night ticket to Star Wars? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. I, I had to. I'm a major Star Wars fan, so I saw that, waited minutes to get the ticket, finally went through and got it. I know. He said online, 30-minute backup. Okay, Scottsdale Film Fest is coming out November 1st. Um, let's start with opening night. What is the big movie? Uh, the big film is Marriage Stories, and I actually think this film is going to be going all the way to the Oscars this year. Everyone that I've known that's already seen it at other film festivals all around the world are clamoring about this what film. is it about so marriage stories is detailing a lot of what divorce does to a family mm. and it's a little bit emotional in that whole part but it also stars kylo ren himself adam driver and black widow herself scarlett johansson and a lot of buzz about them also for oscar awards so i'm just i'm so ready to see this film yeah so that's opening night at the film festival now that's really exciting you also have a lot more though too um there's a movie called waves tell me about that waves is all i've heard is great about this movie. Now, if everyone remembers uh, Moonlight a couple years ago, won the Oscar right under La La Land, I actually think Waves has that same prospect. Ooh, okay. It's going a little bit underrated. Uh, I've heard it's an emotional coming of age story and it's just one of those movies that I think it's going to go under the radar until Oscar season. Everyone's going to be like, where did that film come from? Okay, so keep it in mind now and you can see it early at the film fest. Okay, Honey Boy, Shia LaBeouf, like he goes on and off the radar. I heard this is really good. So Honey Boy actually opened up at Sundance Film Festival back in January to a standing ovation. And for me, Shia LaBeouf's one of the coolest actors. Like, he has such a unique filmography. And with Honey Boy, he's actually written it and stars in it. And it's a semi-autobiography about his relationship with his father. He's playing his father, so it's a little bit meta in that. But I'm all for this film. And uh, again, Shia LaBeouf, like, you got to check out his movies. Yeah, really. He has a very interesting life story as well as, like you yeah. said, a filmography too. Okay, so that is Honey Boy. And then we already covered opening night. What about closing night? Closing night has one of the, I think it's probably going to be a huge cloud, crowd pleaser, and that is Ford v. Ferrari. This is Matt Damon, Christian Bale. They're both starring at oh, huge so actors. And I think, again, another one of those films that's going to boast in the theaters and just take away, I think, some Oscar prospects in there as well. The closing night film, like, why wouldn't you want to go see a movie oh, with Matt so Damon exciting. and Christian Bale? Yeah. And it's just them building a car for Ford to race Ferrari. They're taking the American dream for a ride, and it's and it's based on a true story. So. I love those two actors. They're great. Okay. I can't wait to see this. Now, for the Scottsdale Film Festival, for people who maybe haven't gone before, what are some tips about going, about buying tickets? Well, so about it is, I, I went out of my comfort zone this year and started going to a lot more film festivals, and the biggest thing I have is just plan your schedule. There's a whole schedule on the scottsdalefilmfestival.com website. You can go right over there, and you can actually get tickets as well on there, and most film festivals cost an arm and a leg. This one's very inexpensive, and really, if you just pick the films you want. There's films like Knives Out as well, The Report, Portrait of Lady of Fire, and all the ones I've already talked about that all all sound excellent and I already got my tickets right here so I'm all ready to go. All right, I love that. You have tickets. Let's see those. Okay, now these are ready 
And guess what? We are going to give you a chance to get tickets, too. Thanks so much again. To learn more, go to scottsdalefilmfestival.com. And right now, we are giving away a pair of tickets to opening night to win. Email movies at fingerpaintmarketing.com. Put Film Fest in the subject line. Good luck, everyone.